don't know how much rain we got, but it sucked every bit of it it could up out here. That's nice. Plants already look better. This will stay off the vine. John's always wanted a watermelon patch down here. And we cleared it, what, two years ago? It's been a, this is its third year. First year in any form of production, for sure. You've got, I remember how many watermelon plants, do you? I think there's about 48, 49. And then we've got some couple tomatoes that that we didn't have room for in the upper garden and then we've got some squ summer squash a couple rows of pumpkins and some spaghetti squash and then I think one pepper plant that we didn't have room for in the upper garden boy at least you know great thing about that rain that we got every bit of it went in the ground good. it still smells like rain out here I'd say the top inch and a half of dirt look at that nice watermelon beside you oh that's gonna be a good one it's gonna be a good one I can hear the honeybees in the oh, right here in the melon blooms Oh, bumblebees. Yeah. Right here. We need them too. Yep. Pollinating. The little butterflies. Pistol, you don't pollinate. Get out of the get out of the vine. Look at that little bitty sweat bee type bee that's in some of the bloom. thinking I am really going to enjoy these boots what are these these are my spaghetti squash at what point do they start squashing <laughs> not sure I've not grown these before so this is first year I love spaghetti squash you know Corinne and I and Cora have carried 30 to 50 gallons of water out here and watered each individual vine or plant with a gallon of water for at least minimum of the last three weeks, I would think, wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah, and this is... Um, every this... three days, and we were just holding ground. I'm telling you, that, that rain last night was an extreme blessing. We needed it, and... If we can just keep keep that coming back, not only is it going to help you guys that grow a garden, y'all already know this, but beekeepers, we got to have it in order to have our fall flow. If we don't get, continue get this rain and this country just starts drying up and burning up, we won't have a fall bloom. Check those bees, because you know, in result, we'll have to feed all winter long more so than than what we would normally do pumpkins look good don't they yeah they do pumpkins apparently i don't know much about them i love growing them and looking at them but apparently they are a fairly hardy plant to uh drought now now we're in a, a naturally wet wetter spot yes this 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 particular spot was picked uh, dad had always said boy it'd be a nice place for a melon patch down there below that <laughs> pond i wish he was was here to see it this would give him something oh he would he would thoroughly enjoy this you called it the the what the johnny smith the johnny smith memorial watermelon patch yeah he would appreciate this um we got melons we got melons out here 
There's two, three black diamonds are, are swelling up. Kind of like my chest. I'm pretty proud of this. A lot of you people I know are real gardeners and do a superior job to what I'm doing. But for me, I'm pretty proud of it. We, we, uh, we enjoy this, a little farming on the side. Another place to escape day to day. Randy, you gonna have another round of squash? Oh, yep. In fact, I can see one. Need to be picked. Two, three, that's probably ready to be gathered up. But we've got more, more honey to pull here at the home yard, and uh, we'll come back and get these late this evening. It rained enough that the, the weeds are a little easier to pull this morning. All right, pistol, you ready to go to work? Come on. How come you're not digging a hole this morning and checking? Hmm? There's the dry. But it has been dry for a while. Come on, you want to ride in the back? Good to go. Our market hot.